God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Good morning, St. Therese family. Happy Monday to all of you and happy February. Happy Catholic Schools Week. Happy Black History Month. We have, uh, oh, and happy 20th week of school. There are so many new beginnings, uh, things that get started today that it's a, a day of celebration besides the uh, dark, damp, and cool start to our day. Uh, it's good to be with you all, and a special shout out to uh, Jacoby and Trey, uh, two new students starting with us today in second and fifth grade. And so we are officially over 170 students in our community, so it's uh, nice to be in a growing family. Uh, this week, we got a lot of fun things ahead, as it is Catholic Schools Week, and our focus for today is on leadership. Uh, it's Spirit Day, we're wearing our school colors because we're part of a St. Therese community that has a rich legacy in being leaders in the community. Going back to the Sisters of St. Joseph of Peace, who founded our school and were very intentional about integrating our school and, and being sure that all families who wanted a Catholic education for their children received it, regardless of their race, their religion, their ability to pay. And so um, the sisters were leaders. So many students who have passed through our halls over the years were leaders with us and were leaders beyond our doors and continue to lead today. And so as we um, embrace this legacy of leadership in our community, we remind ourselves of our own call to be faith-filled servant leaders, as well as our SLE for this week, which calls us to be responsible and compassionate community members uh, who practice stewardship of God's creation with our time, talent, and treasures. So no matter who we are, where we are, or what's going on in our lives, our call to lead by example always rings true. So as we begin this Catholic Schools Week, Black History Month, the month of February, let's be sure to lead by example in all we think, say, and do. Let's get started with a saint for today. Uh, we have uh, a saint from Ireland today, Saint Bridget of Kildare. Uh, she's one of the two patron saints of Ireland, along with Saint Patrick. And um, she just had a heart for others, truly leading by example, and it got her in trouble. But uh, there's a phrase that's been pretty common of late uh, from John Lewis, uh, the late congressman, who said, it's, it's never a bad time to get into good trouble. And I feel like St. Bridget did that quite a bit. Uh, she was born into a royal family. Her mother was more of like a servant and her father was more of a, a powerful figure. And um, she kept giving his stuff away because she was so generous and hated to see others suffer. And so St. Bridget got herself in trouble by giving away her father's possessions. And one time he was trying to kind of sell her to someone else uh, to get rid of her. And during the negotiation, she gave his sword away to someone suffering from leprosy. And as her father wanted to strike her in that moment, um, the other man who was a Christian felt very compelled to intervene, to show compassion and to say, she simply saw God in this other person is what she said. And you can't punish that. So eventually she got her freedom and she did her thing, starting convents all over Ireland that became centers of teaching and passing on the faith. And uh, her mother was in charge of distributing dairy evenly throughout the kingdom. And um, she took that over, kind of relieving her mom of her duties. But again, didn't make a lot of money, usually just gave it away. And so her heart for compassion and generosity is one we can learn from, particularly this Catholic Schools Week where we celebrate our community of leaders called um, to um, love, serve, um, ex be of excellence, be of service. And so I didn't get that theme right, but we're going to get it right later today. Let's go ahead and start our day and our week together in prayer. And it's uh, February, and so uh, we do a new sign of the cross. And it is um, an Amharic, so it might be a little rusty, but we're going to try it out. And uh, Jonathan, Mactus, anybody else who knows it, feel free to correct me if I'm if I'm off today. We begin our day together. Besmaab, beweld, bemon peskadus, hadom lak, amen. Good morning, dear Jesus. This day is for you. We ask you to bless all we think, say, and do. We love you, God. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I am only one, but I am one. I cannot do everything, but I can do something. What I can do, I ought to do. And what I ought to do, I will do. By the grace of God. Amen. Besma'ab, the well, the monfes kadus, hadu amlak. Amen. All right. It's time for our Pledge of Allegiance. So if we have flag bearers out there, go ahead and hold your flags up high with the right hands of our hearts we say together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Give our flag bearers out there a round of applause. Thank you for your responsibilities today. And uh, before we jump into our closing song, uh, important to remind ourselves that uh, we've been singing this song all year, um, and it really has been beautifully harmonious uh, to listen to those on campus, particularly our kindergartners, my next door neighbors. And um, it is a powerful thing to lift our voices together, and it's, a, it's another form of prayer. And so the song we choose, uh, Lift Every Voice and Sing, is also known as the Black National Anthem, when it was first written as a poem and converted to a song by James Weldon Johnson and his brother back in the 1920s. Um, it, it, it told the story of the African-American people and their journey. And so uh, as we sing it today, it's, it's a song that uh, continues to stand for that, um, but it continues to echo the prayer that it was originally written to be, calling on um, our God, who is always at our side, no matter what is going on in our lives. So as we sing together, um, we channel that, that, that history and all of its joys and sorrows and the memory that God is always with us. So we sing together, lift every voice and sing. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies of liberty Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies Let it resound loud as the rolling sea Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day began, let us march on till victory is won. Let us march on till victory is won. Have a blessed day, St. Therese family. Make the most of this Monday, this Catholic Schools Week, this month of February. And always remember that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Have a blessed day, all-stars.